New Zealand, a land of breathtaking beauty, sits atop a restless earth. The country straddles the boundary of two tectonic plates, the Pacific and the Australian plates. This precarious position makes New Zealand prone to earthquakes. Understanding where these earthquakes are likely to occur is crucial for the safety and resilience of our communities. The GNS Science, a world-leading research institute, has released an upgraded version of the New Zealand Active Faults database. This database is an essential tool for anyone involved in land use planning, engineering, or simply wanting to understand the earthquake risk in their area. The upgraded database is more than just a map. It is a dynamic platform that provides a wealth of information on New Zealand's active faults. It serves as a crucial tool for scientists, researchers, and policymakers who are working to understand and mitigate the risks associated with seismic activity. Active faults are those that have moved in the past and are likely to move again in the future. Understanding these faults is essential for predicting future earthquakes and preparing for them. The database shows the location, geometry, and slip rates of these faults. This detailed information helps in creating more accurate seismic hazard models and improving building codes and land use planning. This information is vital for assessing the likelihood and potential severity of earthquakes in different parts of the country. It aids in disaster preparedness and response planning, ensuring communities are better equipped to handle seismic events. The upgraded database now includes high-resolution LiDAR data, which significantly enhances the accuracy of fault mapping. LiDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging, is a remote sensing technology that uses laser pulses to measure distances. It provides precise measurements that are invaluable for geological studies. This technology allows for the creation of highly detailed elevation models, revealing subtle features on the Earth's surface that might otherwise go unnoticed. These models are crucial for identifying and analyzing fault lines, contributing to a deeper understanding of seismic hazards. The inclusion of LiDAR data in the Active Faults database is a game changer. It allows us to see the faults in unprecedented detail, revealing their precise location and the way they have shaped the landscape over time. This information is particularly valuable in urban areas, where development needs to be carefully planned to minimize the risk from earthquakes. The high-resolution data covers several regions across New Zealand, including Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, and Dunedin. These are some of the country's most populated areas, making the availability of detailed fault information even more critical. The data allows us to identify areas of higher risk and to plan accordingly. One of the key features of the upgraded Active Faults database is its user-friendliness. This means that even those who are not tech savvy can easily navigate and utilize the database without any hassle. The database is accessible online through a web browser, making it easy for anyone to explore. Whether you're at home, in the office, or on the go, you can access the database from any device with an internet connection. Users can zoom in and out of the map, pan across different regions, and click on individual faults to learn more about them. This interactive feature allows users to get a detailed view of specific areas and understand the fault lines better. To access the database, simply visit the GNS Science website and navigate to the Active Faults Database section. The website is designed to be intuitive, so finding the database is straightforward. The website provides clear instructions on how to use the various features of the database. There are step-by-step -step guides and tutorials available to help users get the most out of the database. Users can choose to view the map in different layers, showing different types of information. This feature allows users to customize their view according to their needs and preferences. For example, users can choose to display only active faults, which can be particularly useful for researchers and scientists who are focusing on current geological activity or they can overlay the fault lines on top of other maps, such as topographic maps or aerial photographs. This layering feature provides a comprehensive view, combining different types of data for a more in-depth analysis. Section 5. 
Practical Applications Building Safer Communities The information provided by the Active Faults database is invaluable for a wide range of applications. For engineers and builders, it is essential for designing structures that can withstand the ground shaking caused by earthquakes. The database helps to determine the appropriate building codes and construction techniques needed in different areas. For city planners, the database is crucial for guiding land use decisions. By understanding where active faults are located, planners can make informed decisions about zoning, infrastructure development, and emergency response planning. This knowledge helps to ensure that new developments are situated in areas that are less vulnerable to earthquake damage. Section 6. Case Study, Christchurch, and the Importance of Fault Lines The 2010 and 2011 Canterbury earthquakes, which devastated the city of Christchurch, serve as a stark reminder of the importance of understanding and respecting active faults. These seismic events were not just natural disasters, but also critical learning experiences for scientists and urban planners. The earthquakes caused widespread damage and loss of life, highlighting the need for better preparedness and mitigation measures. The destruction of infrastructure and homes underscored the vulnerability of urban areas to seismic activity. The upgraded Active Faults database, with its high-resolution data, would have been an invaluable tool in the aftermath of the Christchurch earthquakes. This database provides detailed information on fault lines, which is crucial for assessing risk and planning for future events. It would have helped to identify the areas most affected by the fault rupture and to guide the emergency response efforts. Accurate data can significantly improve the efficiency and effectiveness of rescue operations, potentially saving lives and reducing chaos. Furthermore, the database can be used to inform the rebuilding process, ensuring that new structures are located in safer areas. By integrating this data into urban planning, Christchurch can build a more resilient city, better prepared for future seismic events. This proactive approach is essential for minimizing damage and enhancing public safety. Section 7. The Database in Action Real-World Examples The Active Faults database is not just a theoretical tool. It has real-world applications that are making a difference in people's lives. For example, a homeowner in Wellington used the database to assess the earthquake risk to their property. They discovered that their house was located close to a previously unknown fault line. Armed with this information, the homeowner was able to take steps to strengthen their home and make it more resilient to earthquakes. They also used the information to purchase earthquake insurance, providing them with peace of mind knowing that they were financially protected in the event of another earthquake. Section 8. Empowering Individuals Knowledge is Power the Active Faults database empowers individuals to take ownership of their safety and make informed decisions. By understanding the earthquake risk in their area, people can take steps to prepare themselves, their families, and their properties. This includes developing an emergency plan, securing heavy objects, and having emergency supplies on hand. Knowledge is power, and the Active Faults database puts that power in the hands of the people. It allows individuals to make informed choices about where they live, work, and play. It also encourages community engagement and collaboration in earthquake preparedness and resilience efforts. Section 9. The Future of Earthquake Preparedness in New Zealand The upgraded Active Faults database is a significant step forward in New Zealand's journey towards becoming a more earthquake-resilient nation. The database provides a solid foundation for evidence-based decision-making, from national policy to individual actions. As technology continues to advance, we can expect further improvements to the database in the future.